Have you ever found yourself facing challenges that seem insurmountable? Moments where it feels like the walls are closing in and there's no way out? Perhaps it's a mountain of debt, a health scare, or a broken relationship that seems beyond repair. It's in these moments of despair and uncertainty that our faith is truly tested. But hold on to hope, my friend, because today we're diving into a journey of faith where we'll explore how God's power transcends the impossible. Today, let's go deeper into how God is going to do the impossible in your life. And I'm going to release a very powerful prayer for you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Kindly watch till the end. Believe and open your heart to receive the blessings that comes with this prayer. Please like, comment, share this video with others. Leave your prayer requests and we will pray with you. Think about those times when everything seemed bleak, yet somehow, against all odds, things fell into place. Those moments when a job opportunity came out of nowhere, or a loved one recovered from a serious illness when doctors had given up hope. These are not just coincidences, they are glimpses of God's hand at work in our lives. As we journey through the scriptures, you'll discover that what seems impossible to us is just another opportunity for God to showcase his limitless might. Remember the story of David and Goliath? A young shepherd boy facing a giant warrior seemed like a joke, but with God on his side, David emerged victorious. So, buckle up and get ready to witness the miraculous unfold in your life. It won't always be easy, and there will be moments of doubt and fear, but through it all, remember that God is with you. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever, and His power knows no bounds. So, let's embark on this journey together, trusting in the One who can turn our impossibilities into opportunities for His glory. 1. Believe in the power of God. When life hits us with unexpected challenges, it's normal to feel like giving up. But let me tell you something powerful. God's got your back, always. In Matthew 19 verse 26, Jesus himself said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. That's right. No matter how big the problem, God's got the solution. Picture this. Those massive mountains standing in your way? God can move them. Those raging seas of doubt and fear? He can calm them with just a word. Think about the times when you felt like you were drowning in problems, yet somehow, you made it through. That's the hand of God at work. He's not just some distant force. He's right here with us, ready to step in and turn things around when we least expect it. So, when life throws you a curveball, don't lose faith. Instead, lean into God's power. Trust that He's got a plan, even when things seem hopeless. Remember, there's nothing too difficult for Him to handle. Whether it's a job loss, a health scare, or a broken relationship, God is bigger than it all. So, take a deep breath, say a prayer, and trust in His unfailing love. He's the ultimate game changer, and with Him on your side, there's nothing you can't overcome. Believe in the power of God and watch as miracles unfold in your life. 2. Embrace your weakness. Let's talk about embracing our weaknesses. You know, those moments when we feel like we're not good enough, strong enough, or capable enough. Yeah, we've all been there. But guess what? According to 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, that's exactly where God's power kicks in. Paul reminds us that even in our weakest moments, God's grace is more than enough to see us through. Think about it like this. When we're at our lowest, struggling to keep it together, that's when God's strength really shines. It's like he's saying, hey, I've got this. You don't have to do it all on your own. So, instead of trying to hide our weaknesses or pretend like we have it all together, let's embrace them. Admitting our limitations isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of faith. It's acknowledging that we need God's help, and that's okay. In fact, it's more than okay, it's necessary. Because it's through our weaknesses that God's power is magnified. He takes our messiness and turns it into something beautiful. 
So, the next time you're feeling overwhelmed by your shortcomings, remember that God's got you covered. His strength is made perfect in our weakness, so don't be afraid to lean on Him. He's in the business of turning our weaknesses into strengths, and that's something worth embracing. 3. Step out in faith. Let's talk about taking a leap of faith, like Peter did when he walked on water. You've probably heard the story from Matthew 14 verse 29, right? So picture this, Peter's in a boat, and Jesus is walking on water towards them. Crazy, right? But when Peter sees Jesus, he's like, hey, if you're out there, tell me to come to you on the water. And Jesus is like, come on, Peter. Now, imagine yourself in Peter's shoes. Would you step out of that boat onto the water? It sounds insane, right? But here's the thing sometimes. God calls us to do crazy stuff like that. He asks us to trust Him and take that leap of faith, even when it feels like the odds are stacked against us. Because here's the deal. When we take that step of faith, amazing things happen. Just like Peter, when he stepped out onto the water, we'll witness the impossible become possible right before our eyes. Sure, we might feel scared, uncertain, or even downright terrified, but if we keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, he'll see us through. So whatever it is that's holding you back, a dream you're afraid to chase, a risk you're hesitant to take, remember this, God's got your back. He's calling you to step out in faith, to trust him with all your heart and watch as he works wonders in your life. It's not always easy, and it might feel like you're walking on water, but with God, nothing is impossible. So, go ahead, take that leap of faith, and see where it takes you. 4. Prayer Without Ceasing Let's talk about prayer, our direct line to God. You know, it's like having a conversation with your best friend, except your best friend happens to be the creator of the universe. Pretty cool, right? In 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18, Paul tells us to pray all the time, no matter what's going on in our lives. Now, I get it, life gets busy, and sometimes we forget to pray. But here's the thing, prayer isn't just something we do when we need something from God. It's a way for us to stay connected to Him, to pour out our hearts and share our joys and struggles with Him. When we pray, we invite God's miraculous intervention into our lives. It's like we're saying, Hey, God, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. And you know what? He always comes through. Maybe not in the way we expect or on our timetable, but He's always listening, always working behind the scenes. So, whether you're facing a big decision, dealing with a difficult situation, or just need some encouragement, don't hesitate to pray. God wants to hear from you, no matter what, and never underestimate the power of prayer. It might not always change your circumstances, but it will change you. It'll give you peace in the midst of chaos, strength when you're weak, and hope when all seems lost. So, go ahead, pour out your heart to God. He's listening, and he's ready to move mountains on your behalf. 5. Wait patiently on God Let's talk about waiting, probably not everyone's favorite thing to do, right? But hang on, because there's something pretty awesome about waiting on the Lord. In Isaiah 40 verse 31, it says that when we put our hope in God, he'll give us the strength we need to keep going. Think about it like this. When we're feeling tired, worn out, and ready to throw in the towel, God steps in and lifts us up on eagle's wings. He gives us the energy to keep running the race, even when we feel like we can't take another step. Now, here's the tricky part. God's timing doesn't always match up with ours. We want things to happen right now, but he's got a different timetable. And you know what? That's okay. Because as we wait patiently on him, he's working behind the scenes lining things up in ways we can't even imagine. So, when you're in the waiting season, whether it's waiting for a job, a relationship, or a dream to come true, don't lose heart. Trust that God is at work, 
even when it seems like nothing's happening. He's renewing your strength, day by day, moment by moment, and before you know it, you'll be soaring higher than you ever thought possible. So, take a deep breath, hold on to hope, and keep putting one foot in front of the other. God's got this, and He's making a way where there seems to be no way. So, wait patiently on the Lord, and watch as He moves mountains in your life. Life's journey can throw some crazy stuff our way, right? But here's the deal. God is the ultimate expert in turning the impossible into possible. No matter what challenges you're up against, remember this. There's nothing too tough for God to handle. So, here's the game plan. Trust in His power, even when things seem impossible. Embrace your weaknesses, because that's where God's strength shines the brightest. Take a leap of faith, knowing that God's got your back every step of the way. And don't forget to keep the lines of communication open with God. Pray without ceasing talk to Him about everything, big or small. He's always listening, and He's always ready to lend a hand. But here's the kicker. Sometimes, you gotta wait. Yeah, I know, waiting is the worst. But trust me, when you wait patiently on the Lord, amazing things happen. He'll come through for you in ways you never thought possible. So, keep your eyes fixed on Him, even when the storm is raging around you. Because when you do, you'll witness firsthand how God works miracles in your life. It's like watching a magic show, except it's real life, and God's the magician. So, buckle up and get ready for the ride of your life. With God by your side, there's no limit to what you can achieve. So, keep believing, keep trusting, and get ready to see His wondrous works unfold before your very eyes. Mark 11 verse 24 says, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Join me as we go to the Lord in prayer. Open your heart and believe so that the blessings of this prayer will come to you. Say this prayer with faith. Dear Heavenly Father, We humbly come before you today. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You, the Lord, you created the earth and the heavens, and all that is in them. I give you all the praise and glory. Thank you God for everything you have done in my life. I'm grateful for the good things and even the tough times. You've been with me through it all, and for that, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. God of mercy and compassion, please look with pity on me. I know I have sinned against you. I ask for your forgiveness. Father, Lord, have mercy on my mistakes and failures. Every mistake I have done in word, action, and deeds, Father, forgive me. For your word clearly says in 1 John 1 verse 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Thank you Lord Jesus for forgiving me. Now in the name of Jesus I declare the power of God against any work of the enemy. Every secret agenda the devil and his cohorts have plotted against me be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, your word said Christ was manifested that the works of the enemy might be destroyed. Every work of the enemy against my marriage, my job, my business, my career, my family, and children, be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, I declare fruitfulness in every area of my life. Let the power of Christ touch my life so I bear fruit. I am fruitful in my life, in my ministry, in my marriage, in my business, in my career, in my job, and in my finances, for the Lord gives us power to make wealth. Let prosperity be my portion in Jesus' name. I will not lack but have an abundance. Lord, I want to serve you with all my heart. Anything that hinders my service, Father, deliver me. God, save me from myself, save me from people who will not lead me to you, save me from desires which are not godly, 
things which are not in line with your word. Father, help me obey your word. Sometimes the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Lord, make me strong, make me fervent in you. Restore unto me, Lord, the joy of my salvation. Father, restore all the things I have lost, either by my ignorance or carelessness. You said in your word that the years the locust has eaten in our lives, you will restore us. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, my family, my marriage, my career, and my ministry. Father, you sent forth your word to heal our diseases and sicknesses. I declare your healing from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Father, heal my family, friends, and loved ones. Let your healing be their portion too. I boldly declare that I am a child of God. I walk in victory through faith. I am the head and never the tail. I am what God says I am in Jesus' mighty name. I boldly declare Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures, he letteth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he letteth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you, my Father God, for hearing my prayer and answering my prayer. Amen. As this message has blessed you, type the word Amen in the comment section and share with us your testimony too in the comment section. In the name of Jesus Christ, all these blessings have come upon you now. Beloved, help us spread the gospel of Christ and reach more people all over the world by liking this video and sharing this message with your family, friends, and loved ones. We really appreciate your great support. We plead with you to subscribe so you can receive more videos that will revive your spirit and uplift your life. Christ came that all people will be saved. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, this is the right time to do so. Say this after me. Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and because of me, you came to die on the cross of Calvary. Father, forgive me of all my sins. Today, I boldly declare that you are my Lord and personal Savior. Come into my heart and lead me. As you have said this prayer, congratulations you have been born again. Please look for a pastor in a Bible-believing church and tell him you have given your life Christ. You will need to fellowship with other believers to learn about your new life. Prayer is a very powerful tool God has given us. With prayer our problems receive solution and we get comforted by God. Please leave your prayer request in the comment section. We are constantly interceding on your behalf before God. Trust me friends, our God will answer your every prayer request. Sometimes we may not reply to your prayer request in the comments section, but that does not mean we are not praying for you. We have you at heart in your requests. May the grace of our Jesus Christ and the love of God be with you now and forevermore. Amen.